Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey babe, so I was like in the middle of actually like putting on this wig for for my first wigs and I decided like I'm about to do my makeup so I might as well do like a get ready with me. So here that is. <laughs> So I've already put on my like moisturizer. I'm using the Gleam by Melanie Mills. Um, and this is in the color Rose Gold. So I've been loving this, of course. I use it in every freaking video, just like Sandra Deluxe. Like, uh. But anyway, yeah, so this is what I use all over my face just to kind of give me like a nice glow, even though I'm about to cover it up <laughs> with my NARS Radiant Foundation. Um, and this is in the color Tahoe. So yeah, this is like my favorite foundation. No matter how many times I like stop using it, I always go back to it. So, um, and what I've been doing lately is mixing that with my Urban Decay foundation also, um, just for spots that I get really oily, just because this is a full coverage foundation and it tends to dry really, really matte, but yeah. But um, I don't think I'll use it this time. So I just put this on the back of my beauty blender or the booty of my beauty blender and just kind of Buff this into my skin. So I actually brought my sideburns down like way too far. Look at that. <laughs> it just looks funny, but whatever. It's definitely gonna stay like that. So I actually been using like the got to be glued to put my wigs down. And I don't know if you guys saw like my frequently asked questions or my what was it? Yeah, I think it was like my FAQs for frontals. And I pretty much was just going in about the, uh, <laughs> the gotta be glued and how much I hated it. But like over time, it's actually grown on me. I think I just wasn't using it properly. So I was kind of biased to it. Um, now, I still feel like if you aren't using it right, it can definitely still pull out your hair. So I've learned to put it right in front of my hairline. Um, and also, you know, literally every time I take off my wig, so that's probably like every two days. Once I get in the shower, I will literally just go around my face and just kind of scrub all that product out. And also, um, around my hairline too, just because, I don't know, it tends to just build up right there. So I definitely don't want my hair to get dry and start breaking off from that. So as y'all can see, this foundation does a really, really good job of like covering everything immediately. It doesn't really take too much um, effort to just kind of do that. And so just for like extra coverage, I will go in with maybe like a light second layer, just in like some of my problem areas, which is like T-zone pretty much. So right up in here where my pores are a little bit larger. So I'll use this beauty blender just to kind of go in like circle, circular, <laughs> circular motions just to get the product working in there. So this is just kind of like an impromptu get ready with me. I really have no clue what to talk to you guys about. Um, I did do like a FAQ video, um, or actually a Q&A video, which I still have another set of questions to answer. But um, yeah, I just haven't gotten around to that yet. I really don't know what's going on with my channel lately. So I'm not sure if it's like what the content that I'm putting out or what it is, but I've noticed, and this is just pretty much overall on a lot of other channels that I've seen also, um, so for concealer, I'm using my MAC, what is this, Pro Long Wear Concealer and NC42. But anyway, yeah, I've just noticed that the views have not been the same, which is really, really tripping me out. Um, my channel is pretty consistent. I'm not going to say that I get like, you know, thousands and thousands of views, but at the same time, like... I don't know what's been going on and I've been taking a look at other YouTubers channels also that usually get you know an easy 20 to 30 30,000 views like in one day and even those channels are just kind of suffering so I don't know what is going on with YouTube or if it's really like live analytics like analytics analytics yeah anyway I don't know if that's like the real and that's really what's going on or what's happening like you know my payout every month has still been consistent so I'm not sure what's affecting it uh but uh, yeah that's just kind of been irking me lately just to like see how slow everything's moving but um yeah no worries so so I'm just pretty much blending that out I ended up using way too much product so of course, this is me just trying to correct what I just did. And then, of course, just to kind of like contour everything, I am going to use my NARS uh, Radiant Concealer in the color Keiko. So that's dark too. Just to kind of carve out my cheeks a bit. 
So I'm gonna do kind of a really quick look, nothing too crazy, just a red lip, just, <laughs> I'm stuttering, just a red lip and yeah, just nice glowy skin. As usual, I'm kind of simple when it comes to makeup. I don't really do too much. So if you watch any of my makeup videos, when I tell you, I probably complete or repeat the same looks over and over. That's just because I'm not into like, I wear makeup, of course, but I'm just not into the dramatics of it, I guess. If that makes sense. Or whatever. But anywho, in other news, I don't really know how I've been feeling about social media lately, you know. I've kind of been in and out, I've been trying to be a little bit more consistent. But something that, oh crap, this brush definitely had product on it. Oh god. See, this is what happens when you don't clean your brushes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've kind of been consistent on it, I guess you could say that, especially for me. But I don't know how I feel. Like, I go back and forth with this social media thing. I kind of went through a week, which was actually last week, of me just feeling, I don't know. It was just a wave of, I would almost say, like, not even almost. I would say, like, depression. Last week, I just was not myself. Or maybe I was. But I just was feeling, like, everything. Literally, everything. And then, of course, my cycle came. So I'm just going to blame it on that. I'm just going to say it was me PMSing. <laughs> Like, and I was watching the show, um, 13 Reasons. Let me know if y'all have been watching that. Well, that was, like, on Netflix. So, of course, those series you can just kind of finish in one day if you're, if you're a junkie like me. But I kind of spread it out. So, I watched it over a course of, like, three or four days. And, y'all, when I tell you, I pretty much cried on every sad part, which is crazy. Because it's, like, the older that I've gotten, y'all know I can't do my eyebrows and talk. Give me a second. So anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's just like the older that I've been getting, and I'm not even ridiculously old, like, come on, Chrissy, like, I'm 23. But anyway, I don't know what it is, but I've just been more sensitive or more emotional, like, I really don't know what it is. I want to blame it on birth control. I really do. I have the implant, you know, the little thing that goes, like, in your arm or whatever. So that's what I have. And if you guys are wondering, I do have them closed. I actually have them, like, this halter top or whatever. I just like the way that skin looks when you're doing tutorials but yeah so I don't know what it is but I was literally like crying like crying like crying for real like it would go from me crying about you know <laughs> what was actually happening in the freaking TV show to me crying about something like in my life so I don't know what I was going through but anyway that little episode is over so I was actually able to talk and do this eyebrow. Now that's goals. That's goals. But yeah, so if you have not seen it, definitely check it out. And then another show that I've been like obsessed with. So actually, no, before I even say that, somebody freaking tricked me. I was looking at uh, Snapchat and they were talking about uh, Orange is the New Black. And I'm like, oh, so it came back on. I'm searching through Netflix, like up and down, trying to figure out. What like where the freak is this show and I realized like yeah I think that person was lying but anyway unless they got like some special download and they was able to see it before I could but I don't know um but yeah so another show I've been loving has been Underground I don't know if you guys are familiar with that but I can't even think of her name but it's the girl from Roll Bounce y'all know the girl that had the braces like <laughs> anyway so she's like supposed to be some freaking I don't know she's a slave and she's supposed to be like saving her family and then there's Harriet Tubman I've been hearing like a lot of people don't watch it but I definitely do I feel like that's so much better than like loving hip-hop or I don't know real housewives like that stuff I don't care about but I mean I did watch it so yeah I really just don't care about it like y'all I just messed up my eyebrow talking oh my gosh all right but yeah, I don't know. Like, I think right now everybody's talking about, um, dang, I really cannot multitask. But anyway, <laughs> I think everybody is talking about right now, like, all the stuff that happened with Phaedra and stuff like that. Which I guess is cool. I guess it's entertaining. I don't know. Um, but to me, it's all reality TV. So do I believe it all? And it's like, to a certain extent, I don't know. And at the same time, I kind of don't even care, to be real. So 
So I don't even know why this is like a topic of conversation. When really it's like it's so many other things going on. Like let's talk about the president like and the shit that's going on. <laughs> the shit that's going on with that like I don't know. And I mean it's kind of surprising to me how quick things are actually being accomplished. So it's like I guess I don't understand how it took Obama so long. Actually I do understand how you know things kind of took a minute I guess if you have so many people against you but it's a lot more people that support Trump than what you believe and including us like black people um that are Trump supporters so I don't know and I'm not gonna say that that's a bad thing but I don't really want to get into politics so I really don't even know why I brought that up to y'all because I yeah it's just not a very good conversation to have Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and just set my under eye with uh, the Sasha Cosmetics Translucent Powder. And the color, I mean, it's just translucent, but obviously it's white. So, And I've barely been setting my makeup lately. I've literally probably just like gone in with like a brush, but I haven't been doing like this whole like bake process. I just found it to be time consuming, honestly. Or maybe I just haven't been into makeup that, you know, as much lately. I'm telling y'all, I really was going through something. Like, I feel like I'm always going through something. <laughs> like, meanwhile, I still haven't even posted the freaking giveaway that I was supposed to do. I am really just not dependable, guys. I don't know how y'all stick around. Maybe that's why y'all not sticking around. I don't know. You tell me. So anyway, this is just going to stay like this. I'm literally just going to kind of throw some eyeshadow on. I have my Tarlet palette, which I actually bought both. I got the Tarlet and Bloom and then the original Tarlet. But I feel like they're basically the same, like, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be using... Hey, look, you can see all the crap I have going on back there. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to be using some of the neutral shades. So it looks like uh, the color Wanderer and then Force of Nature and maybe Dreamer. If you have the palette, you would know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, do you probably just think... I don't know. But anyway, I'm just going to, like, put this all over my lid just to kind of mute out the color that is there. I'm using Force of Nature, which is just kind of like a mauve -y. I guess it's like a mauve beige neutral. Very much so a neutral for me. If you're darker than me, then this would show up a lot lighter. So. See? Just kind of mute out my eyes. And then, of course, I'm going to just take another brush. I'm actually going to take Super Mom just to kind of lighten up my lid a little bit. And I didn't even, like, use a uh, primer for my lid or anything. I'm just literally just kind of taking this. I don't know why I'm looking in this other mirror, and I literally have a mirror on, the, on my palette. But something else that I've noticed with you guys, like on my channel, I noticed that a lot of my natural hair videos or even like braiding videos, they get a lot of love. And then when I kind of incorporate other things into my channel, you know, you have people that accept it, appreciate it, and that's cool. So I realized maybe the people that are subscribed to me are literally subscribed for hair. So if that is what you guys are just wanting to see, then definitely let me know. Because I don't want to be wasting my time, you know, posting videos, putting my all into it, and then it's just kind of like, eh, okay. I mean, I have been trying to get into more makeup videos because that is something that I love, but it's definitely not. I would never put makeup over hair. Like, I love hair. But I just kind of get bored with it sometimes because it's like, it's only so much that I can do, if I'm honest. Like, it's only so many hairstyles using the same type of weave. You know, it's only so much. So far we can go. Anyway, so what color am I going to take now? Wanderer and Dreamer, just kind of... Go into my crease a little bit. Y'all, this is just kind of incognito. I really don't... I never know what I'm doing when I'm starting a makeup look. So I'm literally just going to kind of sit that there. Just to kind of define my... Make my brow bone pop a little bit. But I'm going to be... Uh, I want to keep my eyeshadow kind of light. Because I'm actually going to be doing a red lip. And I didn't know how the red lip would look against this background, but at this point, I don't even care. I'm doing it. It's happening. That's it. That's all that matters. All right, so there we go. And then I'm just going to take a clean blending brush. As y'all can hear, I'm just making a mess. And just kind of blend everything out. 
and I'm not even using the appropriate brushes y'all I have so many freaking makeup brushes that it doesn't even matter to me at this point just using whatever is clean so there we go and then I can kind of just go ahead and just remove this from under my eyes so what I'm actually let me see what do I have here so I'm actually going to go ahead and use my Revlon uh, Photo Ready. This is actually just a face powder, y'all. I hit pan so long ago. Anyway, so I'm going to be using this just to wipe away this uh, the areas that I've set. And that's just to keep these nice and bright and light. You see? Nice and yellow. <laughs> I love this powder. I actually think that it's discontinued, which is, eh, that's okay. I'm pretty sure I found something else to replace it with. So I'm looking like kind of matte and dry, which is fine. That's okay. I don't mind. I'm actually just going to go ahead and deepen up my face a little bit. I'm going to be taking my uh, dark tan mineral skin finish. I don't know why I always have to look at the back of this as if I don't literally use the same products every single time literally and I'm just taking my new favorite brushes the Luxie brushes I've been getting these in my boxy charm so I literally have like a full set now and <laughs> um yeah so these brushes range anywhere from like ten dollars to twenty dollars of one brush but my boxy charm is twenty dollars for the box and I get five different products like who's really winning and then of course just because I feel like this is a little bit more red than I want it to be I'm actually gonna take my Mac blunt which is a little bit more of a I guess it's more brown it just kind of has those uh, cool undertones as opposed to that warmness that warmth and then go ahead and pop that there and because so much of my face is like my makeup I always have to make sure that my cheeks are like popping, <laughs> popping scents. So I just go over, over everything. And then of course I'm going to pop on some lashes and I will be back. If only y'all knew how many videos like just never went up. I think that would be hilarious. I probably need to do that. Just post like maybe, I don't know, <laughs> a comp, what do you call it? A comp, a uh, freaking, I don't know what it's called. So maybe if I just post, I don't know, like a freaking, they're like bloopers almost, not even, just like a bunch of freaking videos that just didn't make it. I always have like some funny scenes in there, but I don't know, sometimes my videos I want them to be kind of serious so I don't post the stuff, but y'all know I'm goofy for no reason, like, retarded. And y'all, I'm still putting on my lashes with this 30 second hair glue. So I still never graduated from that and I don't think that I ever will. Y'all, this wig is just doing it. This is the my first, what is this? My first wigs. So, um, I'm actually going to be doing, like I said, the video on this wig next. But I've already like applied it and everything. And y'all, when I tell you this blend, hello, hello. The lace is like super transparent, super transparent. Now that I have my lashes on, that probably took like, way too many minutes but anyway just gonna take some <laughs> some mascara right under that where my real lashes are just to kind of blend the band even though I don't even feel like this band is on all the way y'all and it's not <sighs> I have to redo it <sighs> y'all and the crazy part is this really happens to me in real life like I will literally spend like 20 minutes putting on a freaking lash because I always mess up one I don't understand now most people hate when I put on my bottom lashes but I really don't care like I love bottom lash mascara I just feel like it completes the look otherwise you just kind of look like okay cuz okay is a look all right so <laughs> uh, I don't know I feel like I'm just kind of prolonging this at this point um, I am gonna be using my Ruby Woo which is just a very standard like red lipstick y'all know this has been around since like forever so I've been wearing this color for literally three days. And I'm not really the type to like outline my lips. I kind of just let my lips find, throw the lipstick find where it's supposed to go. 
which is why I have like the hardest time doing this on client literally when it comes time to like line some lips I'm like can you do it <laughs> which probably defeats the purpose right of course y'all know I gotta amp this up now because I'm looking a little too glam in this mug alright so of course for highlighter I'm actually gonna take my offer cosmetics I haven't used this in a very long time it's just like the blush stripes illuminating highlighter so of course it comes in like different colors what I'm gonna do it's just kind of like swipe over I'm actually I'm gonna use this more like defined kind of fluffy brush um, and go over the gold shade and then the kind of blush pink just to kind of pop that like right in these areas I actually kind of wanted it to be a little bit more golden than that so and one time I went overboard with my freaking nose highlight but nobody told me I'm like I'm looking like Michael Jackson <laughs> But of course, how was y'all gonna tell me if the video was already out, right? Ooh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Now this. Then you just kind of put some of that right here. I feel like when you're glowing with your makeup and then your skin is glowing, it just, it brings everything together. Like, y'all see that? disco ball so y'all already know summertime I'm about to be like look at that the highlighter is just everything Whew. girl where you going okay y'all I'm kind of going overboard now at this point you've taken it too far let me just kind of obviously before the hair is like styled or anything but yeah this is the look hope you guys like it um I know I didn't really talk about much in this get ready with me but <laughs> I definitely like I said I hope you at least enjoy the the makeup hey babe so today I just want to bring you like a get ready with me this was very like impromptu I have no clue what I was going to be talking about so yeah definitely just enjoy the makeup I hope you guys enjoy it I love you thank you guys for watching